Just a reminder, we're brought to you by orgaretro.com. If you want to get this class car jersey, that lovely Limerick one, any of the other retro ones, uh, please do have a look at orgaretro.com and use the promo code OURGAME to get 15% off. I'd have to say with one of my own cooler teammates, I'm going to call him out, Nicky Kenny, was so silly. He bought a couple of the Kilkenny jerseys, didn't even use the code. There's brains for you. But anyway, <laughs> uh, just a reminder, if you want to get this on an audio podcast, plenty of people out there do, please go to patreon.com forward slash our game. It's a fiver a month, very good way to support the channel and make sure we keep building because uh, obviously we want to keep bringing you this sweet hurling action. And also, please do subscribe. The bottom corner over there, just underneath Vernie's laptop, if you can uh, if you can please do subscribe i think only about half the people who watch the show every week do subscribe and that would be brilliant for the channel because the more people that follow the more youtube recommends it to other people who are interested in ga and it's all about building the channel from our point of view so i really would appreciate if you could do that now let's come to the, the ugly one which was what did you make of keen lynch's tackle on tim o'mahony right i had plenty of dublin uh, football supporters get on to me about this one or two in particular that i did mute eventually because uh, there's only so much of the same old thing that you can listen to but um you know because of what happened with john small against owen mclaughlin the week before that somehow every tackle is the exact same as the one that preceded it. and like yes keen lynch you know if you slow it down watch it back i didn't see it at the time that's why i didn't tweet about it straight away i saw the john small one i knew it was a red card instantly i think everyone barred the most one-sided Dublin fan out there, and most Dublin fans aren't. Most Dublin football fans are salt to the earth, the solid finest. But a few of them, a bit like one or two Kilkenny fans, like to decide that just because Richie Hogan deservedly got red against Tipperary in the All Ireland final, that every other tackle after that therefore must be compared with it. Much like this Dublin supporter or two decide that Keane Lynch's, uh, the way he whipped uh, Tim O'Mahony over his shoulder, that therefore the John Small tackle should be brought up. John Small has had a few other incidents beforehand. Let's let's call that out. I don't think Keen Lynch has a history of doing tackles whereby you would say, right, this is typical Keen Lynch here or anything. I'm not saying it's typical John Small, but he has a few in the past. So yes, it was a red card. Yeah, I think Keen Lynch deserved a red card for that. But I'm, I don't think that this is a continuation of bad behavior from Keen Lynch. In, in, ter- in general, I think he's a brilliant competitor. He's the best hurler that's out there at the moment. So, but yeah, yeah, it was a red card. I don't think he was necessarily looking to dump him on his head. He was looking to whip him around. You know, T- Tim O'Mahony was maybe asking for to be uh, to, to have some sort of retaliation to some degree. But the problem is the net effect is you dump a lad down like that. It probably is a red card. I'd say he was watching a bit of Greco-Roman or freestyle wrestling at the Olympics, I'd say. It was more like kind of like a hip toss nearly than anything else. I'd say and you were watching. Really. That's well, the problem. I was, I was, but he went he went flying. It, it wasn't a great it wasn't a great tackle. Uh, definitely not. Uh, and by the letter of the law, it should have been a red. Um, is Keen Lynch a dirty player in, in any way? I've never really seen anything like that from him before. Um, but yeah, by the letter of the law, it's a red. Uh, I, I think it would be foolish to be spending too much time discussing that today uh, to take away from their brilliance. But yeah, by the letter of law, it should have been a red. Yeah, and like, do, do you think that's, what, what do you make of this whole crack of every time one incident is, uh, happens, like this Keen Lynch one that you have supporters coming in saying, well, if it was a red card for some lad before and you're making a big deal out of this, why aren't you making a big deal out of that? Yeah, well, you can't, I don't think, like, there's very few incidents are similar to each other and they're very, very hard to compare to each other. Like, say for the one, you know, the uh, the Richie Hogan incident with, uh, I forget which court player it was, in the 2019 All-Ireland quarter final. Um, but that, that like, of that incident, like, Richie got absolutely, like, taken out. There's no point mm-hmm. saying any different. But he got up, he got up straight away. So, he obviously, there was no effects of it. And that's not to say it wasn't a red card. When Carl Barrett got hit in 2019 final, he was down for a couple of minutes and was clearly in distress. When Owen McLaughlin got hit the other day, he was definitely in distress with a with a double jaw fracture. So different attackers can have uh, different effects. If the effect is like pretty bad on someone, the punishment is probably naturally going to be a bit worse as well. Does that make Does that make sense? Mm. Like Richie Hogan getting up straight away. <laughs> like if if he was that way inclined, if he'd stayed down, the player probably would have got sent off. But he's he he obviously didn't have any effects. So it's very hard to compare uh, different incidents like that. In fairness. 